we have a lot of successful presidents where we didn't see their promise and their potential early on in that first hundred days. So it turns out not to be a very good predictor. not fair to judge presidents by their first hundred days. It's both been a, a media narrative and candidates themselves have fed into that, talking about what they're going to do during that first hundred days. Only two presidents have produced legislation that we would consider historic or landmark acts, and those were Lyndon Johnson in 1965 with the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, and then Barack Obama and his uh, economic stimulus package passed early on in his term in 2009. Most of the other important legislation that we look back and think of, say the 1965 Voting Rights Act or uh, President Reagan's uh, uh, first budget, none of those were within the, within the 100 days. It is true that presidents do tend to be more productive earlier in their terms than later in their terms in general. When presidents' approval ratings are higher, which usually happens at the beginning of their terms, members of Congress, seeing that they're popular back in the district, uh, are a little more amenable to uh, being receptive to presidential requests. As the term goes on, the president makes more enemies and Congress becomes less receptive. It is fair to judge a president based on their legislative record after about a year, the data that I looked at showed that maybe about a third of all the things that a president is going to do during his term might get accomplished in that very first year. After about a year, uh, already Bill Clinton, George Bush, some of these presidents who had nothing to show during the first hundred days uh, were quite productive and that ended up being a good predictor of all the things they accomplished by the end of the first four years. We have other presidents. Uh, Jimmy Carter is a famous example who was not as legislatively successful. After the first year, he had no major landmark enactments and that turned out to be quite predictive of the rest of his first term.